This holiday, I guarantee you, is going to be one of the craziest, unbelievable and hottest holiday that we've possibly been to since a very long time ago. Hey everybody, what is up Louis Vlogs and Games here and welcome to the 83rd vlog of the vlog series. And today it's our big holiday this weekend because we are going over to Botlins in Minehead. Woo! There he is again. Unbelievably, this cost us about over £1,000 for this holiday for three nights in Butlins. £500 for the hotel, uh, £250 for all the other stuff there, and £500 spending money on stuff that we can buy there. And I can tell you what, it's going to be an unbelievable holiday as we sit back, enjoy a holiday of a lifetime. Let's enjoy the video, y'all! So guys, we are now on the M5 now, over the Butler! About five and a half years since we last been to Portland for the New Year's back in 2017. I'm surprised, and we have a lot booked. We already got our apartment booked because there's no caravan behind us. Uh, we've got a lot of shows booked as well, a few arcades as well, Yay. and we'll be chilling on the beach as well. It's gonna be one of our big holidays ever in such a long time. So, well, well done, further ado. We're gonna sit back now, enjoy a nice ride on the car down the M5 over to my head. And it wasn't until we got stuck in a traffic jam and Dad made it more worse with his annoying seagull sounds. <laughs> and a few moments later, we are now crossing over the Avon Bridge and checking out more of the beautiful countryside on the M5. <laughs> Shut up, Dad. We heard enough of you today. And later, we got off at Junction 23. And after an extra hour of driving, we are now here at Butlins. Hi guys, guess what? After three hours, we are here at Butlins! Yeah! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Uh, we're booked in now, get on apartment. And... Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, so we just parked the car and here we are now at Butlins! Woo! So exciting. So, we got our room booked. And we're going to go over there now, which is house number 12, but it's somewhere around here and I know it has the word Avenue in it, so let's go ahead and see if we can find it. So we can see the, um, the Skyline Pavilion just up there, that's a massive tent which you can see checking out with all the entertainment, arcades, etc. We've got the climbing frames here, the swimming pool opposite with a few slides there, and the entrance to it is just in that building over there, and that's how you have to access it by a few shops, then into the tent you would go. Well, I'm loving this pathway here, a lot of flowers and butlin flags around. Uh, turning left here. Oh, and here it is. Freeport Avenue and our apartment for three nights is number 12, so we've got to go find that. And here is our home for the next three nights. Right, so this is our home for three nights. Uh, Did we? Yeah, this is our home pathway and here we have is um lower and a bedroom nice and spacious and good thing you're set for us as well uh, and you're gonna hide under the bed uh, yeah but there's spiders the toilets in there with a the sink the toilets and a shower inside over here we have is um gonna be my room for three nights nice bed i like the painting as well uh, and a cupboard in here as well, which I should hide in as well. Don't know why that's there for, but all right. Over here we have is um the big room, which is um the parents' bedroom, and they luckily got a TV, so a few glasses and that. So there we go. So then we just checked out our um, room for three nights, and now we are heading over to the Skyline Pavilion to check out what is inside and see the entertainment. Oh, and look, they it's right in there. We're going to have to walk a few steps over there, and there it is. Let's go, shall we? Cheers, Lou. Oh, there's the man at the scene tomorrow night, Mr. Stephen Morhone. Uh, he's in the Butlins. And here it is, the Skyline Pavilion. What do you think? Amazing! Let's have a look around. Inside, we've got some entertainment playing, a few arcades so you can win some tickets. And also, we also forgot to mention there is also a bowling alley here. We might come back for this later and we can see the bowling alley just up towards here. And there's the bowling over there as well. It is confirmed that we will be doing this tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. Let's go down the ground. 
So we'll come back to all these in a bit, but now we're going to go to a show to watch, and that is a dinosaurs versus animal show. Woo! Stupid little car. I love you, Daddy. <laughs> hey, go back there. Otherwise, we're going to start talking about the animal you're scared of. Oh, hang on. What animal is he scared of? Kids, big bone man, scared of toads. Toads? Little baby toads. <laughs> the shell. The length of the tail. That's a tail? Yes, it's a tail. That is a boy. All right, that's a boy. What am I then? You're, you're an idiot. <laughs> After three, everybody in the room shout out what is this dinosaur called? Oh. One, two, three. Nathan. What? Now, Nathan is actually a stegosaurus. Are you ready? Robert! Paul! Robert, just do your best. I'm sorry, darling. Robert! Jump! Oh, Robert, I love you. Robert! Sit! Oh, you dirty thing! So that was the end of the um, the Animal vs Dinosaur show, and also we won some prizes for being the best family to dance, uh, and we did it in front of like a hundred like families there. It was like such a short chance of us winning that, and we won it. And now we are going over to the restaurant to have our dinner, and hopefully this will be there so I can eat it. It was a very busy restaurant inside, but luckily we managed to find a table seat for five. So let's sit down. And it looks like Marlon has made his own dinner. So Marlon's got chicken nuggets, chips, and a Yorkshire pudding. Does that taste good? Did you have a bite? And to save the best of last, luckily there was a pizza. Let's have a bite. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, it is very delicious indeed. I'm liking this place, Right then, so we just had our dinner and now we're going to go back over to the Skyline Pavilion because there's another show that we have to watch and we have to watch... lights on there was amazing the neon lighting up the movement of it is just amazing since that's over now we're gonna play some arcades and see if we can beat down the clown oh, do it and yet too easy we won the jackpot immediately 580 points And looks like they decided to hide this game away from us, but we found it anyways. Deal or no deal? Let's play. Alright, so Lowe's doing pretty good so far. Unfortunately, I've got the 200 and 100, and I know that your box has 75 tickets inside. Alright, no deal. No deal! Alright, now we've got to swap. What? No swap. I know no. my box has number no. six. No, no, no. Number six will have 75. Open here. your box. Are you ready for the reveal? Yep. 75! Oh, 
my god, don't kiss it. So that's it then, that's our time to finish up the Skyline Pavilion for tonight. Played a bit of arcades, beat down the clown twice luckily, got some tickets, and it's about 11 o'clock at night and we need to get some rest for tomorrow. So that's it for day one and we'll see you straight on day number two. Good morning everybody and it's our second day here at Butlins and Minehead. We've just woken up and now we're going to get our breakfast at the restaurant. And we got a lot of things booked for today. We've got the bowling booked at 11. And then tonight, uh, or any time, we're going to be seeing Stephen Mulhern. How exciting is that? Uh, exciting. And what do you get next? So we're just getting our breakfast now. Marlo has got some croissants. And unfortunately, there is no sausages. Oh. But I decided to get some cornflakes for my breakfast today. Nice. Corn? Milo, you're doing that croissant there. Yeah. It tastes nice. Is it very delicious indeed? Three, two, one. Mmm, that was delicious. Why do you have to Good. So, we just had our breakfast. Uh, just had some cereal, and had some toast, beans, all that. And now, we are going into the mini fair now, aka the Pop the Builder Shed. Uh, So since it's a bit early for us to play some bowling, we're going to go play some darts for a bit and this time, let's see if we can get 101 or more to win a fake speedboat. Here we go, 101 or more for tonight's star five. Twenty. One. And another 20, that's 41. So you're leaving me 60 now. Give me 60. To win a speedboat. Right, so we just played a bit of darts. Now it's time to get our bowling game started as it's now 11 o'clock and we are ready to play. Good for Marlo, guarantee you one pound. And that was a fun game of bowling. Well done, everybody. So then, just played some bowling. Luckily, I'm blowing as one. I was a bit rubbish at some times, but I just catch back up at the end. But now, we're going to take these kids on the fairground for a bit and see what rides they have outside of the tents. Right, so let's get on with some few rides, shall we? Starting off with the big swing, where a lot of people go on it and it goes very fast all of a sudden. And what was terrifying as well, that the swing can go up and down as well. Uh, goodness gracious mate, that is one squeaky spinning boat. No joke. Right, 
Where did your legs go? It's behind that invisible wall, silly. My god, that is so cursed. Onto the pulling swing now with Ro and the Marlow on board. Do you see how far they can go? So we're just made to the restaurant now. Uh, so time has already gone faster. Uh, and luckily, we could be able to be seeing Stephen Mulhern tonight at 8 o'clock. Normally, it's every three hours from 2, 5 and 8, but we're que queuing for the 8 o'clock one. So we do got to be early to queue in to get into Studio 36. As you know, what do people think of Stephen Mulhern, right? So we do got to queue around 7 o'clock to get in the front seat uh, so we can see him more better. Eh? So we'll have this food and then we'll go over. So here we are then, queuing for Studio 36, and luckily we are at the very front of the line. And look at this, we're in the front seat, and look at everyone at the back. <laughs> what a surprise. Anyways, let the show begin. <laughs> show at the moment uh, in Butlins, okay? Um, and uh, my name is Stephen Mulhern, and I work on ITV. And um, we want you to take part in the trick. Is that okay? You're Stephen Mulhern. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Queen, Queen of Diamonds? The Queen of Diamonds. Okay. All right, mate. Listen, you've been amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, we can see you again. <laughs> we can see Queen of Diamonds, please. Yes! <laughs> now it is time for a game of Game 4 Penny. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now here's a game that you have to pump the balloon and show it pops. Snowing inside Studio 36. What an unbelievable trick. Right then, so we just seen Stephen Mulhern. What a show that was. All that magic trick was amazing. Uh, and we managed to get a photo of him as well. And we was at the ferry front of as well. Uh, it was annoying now that we can't even take a picture on our iPad or phone and we have to do it on a camera, meaning that we have to spend more money having to get another picture frame for it. So we're going to have to get that tomorrow afternoon at 12 o'clock. So we're going to wrap up day two here for now and we'll see you straight on day number three. Have a good night. Bye.
So then, it's our third day here at Butlins at Minehader, our last full day, Ooh. and we're going to be doing a few stuff today, do a bit of golfing after breakfast, the then beach. we might go to the beach, thank you, don't talk over me. There it is, the adventure golfer. Uh, look, this is quite cheap though, it's only four pounds a person for this. Uh, I'm surprised, Ooh. let's go inside and have a game, uh, and see if we can get the least amount of holes. Yeah. All right then, let's start a nine hole match of golf uh, and let's see how many we can get on each hole. Oh, well done. Uh, we it's golf. We're not going to play properly while we play. Oh, shut up, you idiot. Well All right, thank you. Good celebration dance there, my man. Next hole. Well yeah. done. <laughs> oh dear. Um, well, that's another one bites the dust, I guess. <laughs> oh, morning. And he's dead again. There we go. And that is our game of golf over for now. Right, so we just finished doing some golf now. I don't know who won, but huh? my dad managed to get two hole in ones. Uh, huh? I'm surprised. Since that's over now, I'm going to go um, back into the pavilion and get a few stuff. Before we head to the beach, we got another show to watch. And let's see some awesome people do some epic tricks on their bikes. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some fun. He really wants to win this competition So, before we head over to the beach, now it's time to get our picture with the one and only Stephen Mulhern. So, we just came back from watching a, um, a bike show, and now we have got our picture of all of us with Stephen Mulhern. There we have it. Look over here, Milo. We can find ourselves the beach. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, here we go again. And it looks like it's Marlo has made something out of sandcastles. What sort of city is it? I made some roof. Sandcastles. Oh, he's put the shelves windows. Oh, that's nice. And, the and this is where it starts to get very muddy as we're now entering the muddy part of the beach that goes all the way to the water that is about a mile ahead. And I tell you what, that sounds very squirt That's how far we've walked from Butlins now. And we're still walking on our dirty feet. And luckily, we made it to the water. See how far we walked? That is insane. Also, when I was here, I accidentally ended up cutting my foot on one of the rocks, which I didn't even realise. Now there really wasn't much interesting about this, so let's just head back now. Yes, we'll do get out of this as soon as possible because we have a show to watch after this. Well, at least we are back now because we are now queuing for Studio 46 to watch another show called The Roller Boys, who appeared on Britain's Got Talent in 2020. And tonight, they're going to do some fabulous stunts on their bikes and roller skates. Looks incredible, isn't it?
tell you what, these guys are so good. I love seeing dangerous tricks like these ones. Oh, there we go. We officially got a flip. That's one thing that we definitely need to see from these guys tonight. And they did it. <laughs> So then we just watched another show and we just watched the roller boys and tell you what, that was great. Even one of the guys were from Australia as well, which I was absolutely surprised about, but this is our last chance now to win as many tickets as we can to claim for special prizes tomorrow morning. So let's go ahead and make up those tickets if we can beat down the clown multiple times. And there we go, we beat down the clown again and four times tonight making 2,000 tickets. And at the end, we managed to claim 2,009 tickets. It's nice. Right, so I can't believe I'm recording this at around midnight right now. So we're just coming out of the Scarlet Pavilion get our tickets luckily we got about 2,000 at the end of that so that's it for night three and in the morning we're gonna go claim our tickets and win some fabulous prizes I am looking forward to be seeing what's in store for us to win but for now good night right then guys so unfortunately it's the last day here of Butlins and Minehead but finally it's cloudy <laughs> But now we're going to pack up our things and go, go, go home, unfortunately. But before we do that, we're going to go back into the tent and claim our tickets to win some good prizes. Let's see what they got in store. $6,260 is our final total for the tickets. Now let's go go ahead and claim some prizes. And looks like the brothers are getting them some little slinkies here. And I got myself a nice little umbrella for 2,000 tickets. Oh, you've, got the right, you've got the right reminder Wait, then. Do we have one last thing? <laughs> now let's have a look at what the prizes yeah. that we've got. got. So we just got our tickets and we've got our prizes now. So let's show what the brothers got. Well, what you got? I got this rocket thing that shakes up in the air. Sounds. I got this slinky and I got this little um, glider. And Mark, what you got? Sweeties. Sweeties. Oh my god, this and for my money, all I got was an umbrella which cost 2000 to put me in the shade and a calling bug for the bird. Right guys, so unfortunately that is our time here at Butlins over. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah, yeah glad you did. But before we go, we're going to go through what we like the most, what our favourite shows are and how much would you rate the holiday out of 10. So Marla, starting with you, what did you like the most? Um, everything. What show? Um, Stephen Mulhern. Stephen Mulhern. And how much yeah. would you rate this out of 10? A solid 10. Solid 10. Oh, spot on. Lauren, what about you? What do you uh, like the most? Uh, I like everything. What about your show? What, what show do you like the most? And the show is Animal vs. Dinosaurs That's and one. Stephen Mulhern and Light Show. And well, how much did you rate this out of 10? A thousand. Wow. And of course, what I liked the most was doing the arcades. My favourite shows were Electric City, Stephen Mulhern, and all the other shows that we tuned into. I know I rate this a 10 out of 10. And we'll be coming back next year, hopefully, because we miss out on a few stuff recently, like the high ropes, the go-karts, the climbing frames, all that. So if you want us to do a second part here as we come back next year, please do drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like! But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, it's goodbye from... Bye!